Hi, everyone. Thank you for listening to Criminally Unsolved. My name is Fernanda Soto. I'm the host for this podcast. As you may have already seen from the title of this episode, this is the first one. I am going to be just doing short introductions about myself, the podcast, what I want to talk to you about in the next chapters. Okay, I'll start by introducing myself and telling you some stuff about me. My name is Fernanda Soto. I am currently 19 years old and I am a college student at UTEP or the University of Texas at El Paso. Um, this is actually for like a class, but if I like it, I might just end up doing more episodes. So I am also currently, so my major is biology in UTEP and I am also like doing some extra classes at night for medical assisting. Since I want to, in the future, I want to go into like medicine and medical school and all that. So I'm doing, so they ask for a lot of stuff, right? So I'm doing different activities. I also volunteer at a hospital, at the Children's Hospital here at El Paso. I also help in a research at YouTube. And well, I work, I'm a tutor at high school. I just help kids with like their homework and all that. Supposedly, so they get into college, but they're mainly like athletes, I guess. They don't want to fail. So because they want to keep playing, of course. So that's mainly what I do. It's pretty fun. Um, I, I actually, so El Paso, it's like right next to a city called Juarez from Mexico. And I live in Juarez, so I cross every day the border, uh, which is pretty surprising for some people, I guess. Mm -hmm. Some hobbies include, um, I like baking, I like watching movies, shows, uh, anime, reading, um, listening to music and I actually kind of enjoy studying if I'm like like forced into it you know like if I'm not rushing or something um what else what else so about me I have two siblings two little ones I have three actually an older one and two little ones but um I kind of take care of the little ones a lot so I call them my kids and some friends of mine are also like oh you're, are your kids okay like that's just how I do so um, I think that should be everything about me. Now I'm going to talk about the podcast and what I want to do with the later episodes. So as the title suggests, you may have seen the Criminally Unsolved. Uh, the, this podcast is going to be about not solving crimes, of course, but like just talking about them. Maybe some unsolved ones, some kind of crazy ones. Um... So, like, for example, I don't know if any of you have heard about the boy in the box that was found, when was it, 1956, 57, I think, in Pennsylvania. So, he was literally on a carpet box, like, right next to the highway. They found him. He was super beaten up. He was unrecognizable, right? So, they were looking for who was missing a child and all that. Of course, no one came out. So, then, like, so... Their case was just open. In 2002, some woman came and was like, oh, I know him. My mother, like, bought him and she was abused. She abused him, like, physically, sexually, and, like, all that. And one night, he vomited baked beans that he had for dinner. And she beat him to death, basically. That's what she said. And um, the police was pretty surprised because they found baked beans in his stomach, right? Uh, but they still didn't have, like, enough evidence, right? So then, like literally like a month ago, December 2022, uh, they, so they got his DNA, they put him on the database and all that, and they were able to track his parents and all that, and so I haven't been able to, I don't think it's the kid that the other woman described, because she was saying that her, his name was Jonathan, and his actual name is Joseph, so I don't know, that's his one, um, but yeah, there's also pretty old ones, like, um, pretty famous too so like the two princesses i don't know if anyone has heard of them from i think they're from england so their dad the king died and then his younger brother the king's younger brother came on as the king until like the princes were of age to take over so what he did was put them in a tower just by themselves like just them two right there and when they came back to look for them like they weren't there so they didn't find the kids they didn't find no bodies Supposedly, they couldn't have gotten out because they were, like, enclosed, right? So, there's still um, a lot of theories. So, some say that the their uncle came in and killed them. And I think they were saying that they found some rest that may be them. 
So yeah. Um, sorry for the rambling, but yeah, that's kind of like what I wanted to like talk about different things I found interesting. Also, some current events, maybe some actual soft crimes, not just unsolved ones, but maybe just famous ones that may be known. Just giving opinions about them and all that. And yeah, that's kind of what I want to do in this podcast. And when I want to be able to talk to you guys about. So thank you and I'll see I'll yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.